Hey everybody, have you ever had a problem with working outdoors, building something like this, and the heat's just getting to you? Well, we got a solution for that, don't we, Kara? What, what do we got? My truck. Let's go take a look at that truck. Yeah. All right, so what do we got up there, Kara? We have an air conditioner. An air conditioner? <laughs> That's the one in the video. Y'all look up here at this link, boom. And I'm gonna put a link to this air conditioner unit right here because it's what, over a year now? Yeah. And still working perfect. I think she's got 500 hours on this AC unit. So let's take a quick look. Oh, nice. That's a little reading. And this is a 12 volt unit, guys. 12 volt air conditioner. And I'm going to be showing you what we've hooked up in here. Get around to the back side. Up inside right now, she's put in two of the older batteries, and she's been running those for, oh, three, two months? Yeah. Two months, during the summer. Uh, 200 amp hours, okay? Let's get this opened up. Grab that right there, Kira. Open your door. All right, so right now we've got a, I guess a two and a half year old Power Queen. And which one do you use in here? Uniwix, okay, so she has the old Uniwix and the old Power Queen. So there's the two batteries that are over two years old. And they're running this air conditioner. So the air conditioner is 12 volt. It does one hell of a job. And it was very easy to install up into this. Yep, we uh, have the cables up here. So she's, yeah, what she do here? You got the cables. Take them and then we put them through right so here. So she put them through, through the a wall. high temperature silicone tape through the wall. And then she's got a plate on the other side. And so it looks like it's just right there in the bare metal, but it's actually isolated in a plate. Um, not bad. So we're going to go ahead and get a power inverter back into this. When I had this on my Ford truck, it had a huge power inverter in it. We're going to put another one in it, and she's putting her three new batteries in it. That's why she said, oh, go show them what it looks like before we do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she's getting these three batteries. I'm going to put a link to these three batteries. They're the cheapest ones we can find that can handle the heat of being in the back of this thing. And they're a high-quality battery, but they're, they're really cheap. So I'm going to put a link to those. Look below the video. and the link to that air conditioner. Y'all go check it out. This thing does a jam up job of cooling. Let's get around over here. And this is a 90 model Sliverado. And um, I think it's got like 100 and 135,000 on it now. So this air conditioner here, we had to put, because the roof line has this little bump in it, I made this plate, an adapter plate for it, out of just, what, uh, one inch? Yeah, it's, it's actually one inch plywood. So I made an adapter plate. It's a one inch jump from here to here. And this is how the easy way of doing it. But it pulls in air there. There's the filter housing on it right there. And this is 12 volt. So it only pulls about between 25 and 40 amps and it'll run on those 200 amp hour batteries for about five and a half hours on average. But we're gonna put the charger back in it because it gets charged from the truck battery and you'll get about six hours out of it that way um, when you're driving down the road, six to seven hours. However, we're gonna put solar back on the roof so this can run for a long time. Now, why do we have that in here? All right, well, here's a simple reason. When you're out on a job site and it's extremely hot, you cannot leave your truck running or it will overheat, burns a ton of gas to screw up the catalytic converter. Someone could steal it. Yeah. You don't want them to steal it with Kira in there, right guys? No. So someone could steal it, but if you leave it locked up and you can get back in it, of course, with the key in your pocket, that air conditioner can stay running. So if you get overheated, like I'm going to probably do doing the rest of this, I can get in there and cool off, not have to go to a store or nothing else and that's the way to fly i've actually took hour-long naps in that truck i'm not young um <laughs> while doing solar installs i do a lot of these frames this is a arrow frame and i do a lot of these frames where i extend them see i put this pipe in the ground and i extend them and i'll show you how 
we haven't I haven't welded this yet but that's what it looks like and I've shortened it so this was a 27 foot frame so I shortened it to 19 foot 4 and then what that allows me to do is I'll show you here it allows me to have overhang of my metal with 20 foot two by sixes you can buy for about 16 18 bucks a piece and that way I built a building that can handle solar be enclosed inch and a half foam in between for insulation nice all right so y'all get y'all one of these little air conditioners okay you don't have to have a camper shell on your back either because those batteries can just sit fit in your back seat and um, you wire it on through there yep and in in our case what we're going to have is we're going to have a dc to dc charger solar charger an inverter and three of the batteries that i put that link to below and this is not hard this is not hard. These run about six, eight hundred, six to eight hundred dollars, depends on how you get them. And below the video, I'll put an AliExpress link to where to get these at the best price. And they do have them in the U.S. or in uh, South America and Canada, and they'll ship them really fast. But so far, over a year using using this thing, way over five hundred hours, not a single problem. Now I don't know about other models, but this one might have a different name on it. That one excellent no problems all right what do you say about your truck kira i love my air conditioner truck <laughs> <laughs> it's been to say she keeps her puppies in it when she goes to the store and leaves it locked up and her dog's in it yeah don't smash the windshield don't smash my they're windshield okay. <laughs> they're fine all right guys y'all be good and it don't matter these things about you can't mix batteries she's had that in there for two months it doesn't hurt nothing just match them where they're close that's it close to age and close to amp hour and you're fine all right y'all be good